What are data nuggets? They began a little over 10 years ago now and originated as a collaboration between uh, scientists and teachers. Teachers were sharing that their students needed more experience working with data, uh, more opportunities to work with real authentic data sets that weren't just these polished finished products, but where students could see what the process of science looked like and what a real authentic scientific data set looks like. And this is important for a lot of reasons. And one of them is just that, you know, students, when they do research themselves are doing the work of scientists. And when they're collecting data sets, this, that is doing science. And so we want them to see their data as just as strong as the stuff that scientists are co collecting and see that just because something is messy or missing some values or has a surprising result or pattern, doesn't mean that they did something wrong or messed up. It just means that they're actually exploring the unknown for the first time and they shouldn't know the answer before they do the experiment. That's the whole reason that they did the experiment. Especially these days, there are tons of really exciting data sets available online, but a lot of them take a lot of time to find, to curate, put into a form that students can work with. And so our goal with Data Nuggets is that we wanna make these data sets as easy to work with as possible. Data nuggets are free activities. Um, they're designed to bring this messy, complex, real data into the classroom. They're all uh, based on contemporary research. The reason we have this goal is just to show students that science is ongoing and that it's not a bunch of you know, facts of things that we already know, but it's actually a way of understanding and a way of building our knowledge. Each data nugget guides students through the entire process of science, which means we start with the origin of the idea from the scientists. So why did they do this research in the first place? What's the question they were trying to answer? And then all the way to the end where students can then ask their own questions and build on the research that they just learned about. And so, you know, getting the opportunity to explore different data sets is, is a way that they can ask their own questions at the end of the activity. And then each data nugget has a template or a pretty familiar flow once you go through a couple of them, but they're all, um, customized to really explore what's unique about the research that's in the activity. And for students, our hope is that we're going to help train the next generation of scientifically and data literate adults, not only if they want to become scientists, which would be great, you know, encourage students to go into STEM, but also if they just are going into any career that involves being data literate, that's super important, or just are you know, voting or thinking about uh, important issues. It's, these are all skills that they can apply to just basic decision-making in their lives. And uh, for teachers, we provide professional development. And then for scientists, we offer training to help develop science communication abilities. And so we run workshops with scientists to say, you know, can we help you identify the story in your research and something that will be exciting and interesting to a broad audience. This is what the Data Nugget website looks like. So we have some background on Data Nuggets. Um, you can find all of the Data Nuggets we have here under current Data Nuggets, just got over hundred activities. Um, and then tips if you wanna make your own Data Nugget and then just tons of resources um, is under this tab. So uh, poke around on the website because we put a ton of information on there. You can search all the Data Nuggets in our tables. So you can search by keywords, you can sort them by how difficult the content is in the activity, uh, read some descriptions and see some photos just so you have an idea of what the data nugget's about.